morning everyone it's rachel here and we are back working on the easter journals so this one i think i have completed it um pretty happy with it there's a lot in there so we'll just do a quick flip through oh no that's the pocket i thought i had stuck i, put, I went through and added some rag paper uh to some of the bigger pockets that one already has two things in it oh i need to um sort out a couple of envelopes as well i haven't you know our designed envelopes so i think i'll add a couple of those so some of it's the same as what we did together and then um i added that there's a lovely black and white image there um some rag paper all different from different books so this should be sold by the time you're seeing this because it'll be while I'm away and I will have put them in my shop before I left so because um, I would want um, whomever to receive it by Easter hopefully so um, yep I added just a piece of ephemera behind that one and that's just the same as before that flips out so lots of space to be able to do things that flips out I don't think I'm going to add any more. There's plenty happening in this journal. I finished up the rest of the ephemera that I didn't do. I need to put a paper clip there. But I'm going to put some, as I said, some other images. I put, oh, I made this up. I put it onto some rag paper and added a bunny, which I think is really cute. And I've added in this gorgeous page. Very, very old from the 1700s. And that, I think I added that. That just pulls out. I think I just added some writing paper on the back of that one. That's the same as in the video, previous video. This one I've added, oh, I finished off this card. I added this old mattress sticking to it. I just some plain old paper and just put this piece of wormy paper in there from the 1700s. Um, didn't do anything to that, leave that to whomever. And then that was how it was before. This is the same as before added a beautiful old right a uh, piece of document there and a long piece of document there that one was that one's old that one's what was a day 1805 looks like um and it was just one that had come apart so it's folded down and tucked in there and i've got to add a book plate to it and then it's done so that journal is finished and now i can focus on our loaded bags so I've been through just now and put in um, all of the pockets so I'm going to add a few tabs here and there but not too many because I feel like that should be someone's choice but I need to decorate that or I could leave it like that and someone else could decorate it that pulls out I'm going to clip the corners well I might as well do it now I think we worked on that one together but not this one just a nice oh now I've accidentally put the same with the same I mean isn't that silly like I just it just happens so I'll probably put something down there just to you know, make it a little bit different that's I attached that pocket there I've got to clip that I added this wrap around I need to clip there so I've just done this so I am also double checking I've got to reinforce that so we might work in this journal. That's a pull out. I'll add a tab there. Or, I oh, no, actually I won't. Because I was thinking this could actually be glued down if you want it on the two ends. And it could be a, a little tuck. It's up to, I'll leave that up to whoever ends up owning this. There's a side tuck, side tuck. Um, this is another pull out. And I glued that down. Top tuck. Side tuck there. Um, another side tuck there. So plenty of pockets. There's a pocket there. Was I going to add something there? Oh no, I put it there. And then we have this is going to paper clip there. There's the extra pages. Now with this one, because I like the bird and I didn't want to cover it, I attached one of the perspex pockets. That's my go-to thing now when I don't want to cover something up. So this one here. 
Um, I don't think I opened this one this morning. I think we did this one together. So I kind of need to do the work in the other one. Yeah, I think this one I, I completed. Oh, I made that one. See, I made that one a pocket in this one. So maybe I should do that in the other one. It's kind of a cool idea when you have a flip out that has a little pocket in it. That's that. So this one's a bit quite, they're quite similar but different. And I paper clipped in. Yeah, so I did get this one. Oh, I finished it off camera. That's what I did. Absolutely love that. That's like my favourite. Um, and then that's a side tuck. And then this flips out. Cool. Um, and then that's a pocket that opens up like that. Side tuck there. And I did put a pocket there. That was a pocket. That was more uh, a plainer sort of background. So I could do it with that one. So let's work on this one. See what needs to be done. Uh, do I? I don't know what I need to add to the other one. So I may go ahead and reinforce the things that need to be reinforced first. Oh, I need to cover that. That's not, that's not good. Could just glue that over the top. No, I won't do that. I've got to put something down there though. Um, where am I? I need to find where I put my strips. Actually, that could be well, that's quite pretty on there. I think I'll put that there, and that will kind of solve my issue. So, I need to trim this about there. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. I think that's really pretty and that solves that issue there a little bit. Okay, we need to, so I'm going to, I think I'll add something to that one too, like I did the other one. Just to break it up a little bit, I'm just going to see in my little pouch here if I have anything long enough. So how is everyone today? I haven't asked you that. We are well. And, um, oh, what about this? This is on sticky paper. I think I'll put that there. Um, yeah, just status quo. We're now having status quo sunny days. Mid, and they get up to the mid 15, mid 10. So 50, about 15 degrees and cold in the morning. But not like, you know, five, five, seven degrees in the morning. So not too bad. I'm going to trim that okay about there. That's easy. So I just printed it on one of those full size, you know, full sheet label um, sticky papers. But I printed it many years ago, actually. Oh my goodness, I can't open it. For heaven's sake. And then we get to the fun bit, loading the bags. I think the only place I'm going to put something in these journals is in the front and back pockets. And then the rest I'm going to put in the loaded bag. And I'm not going to be concerned whether there's enough um, to fill the pockets because that's something that, that um, the owner will do. It's not my job to do that in this case because we're loading the bag. And then you can decide where they go. I need to put something across here now. We do need to find our bits because otherwise I'll be struggling. I have this. I think that is going to be super pretty there. 
So I'm going to grab my cutter. Oh, I'm a little bit hungry. And just really mild headache today. It must be the weather. Probably tired. I'm going to trim it about there. That's good. That can be used somewhere else. I like it when you get bits like that left over because they're useful pieces. Very useful pieces. Okay. Then once I finish these, I think I want to work on a document journal. Don't know if I'll get them done before I go. I might. Um, so that's just reinforcing that pocket. And I think I'll wait for it to dry. And I am I have decided to make that a pocket because that's not really such a writable page. So it was really more of a background page. Oh, gosh, I did a bodgy cut here. I was at a funny angle and didn't press it properly. Okay, let's glue that down. Oozy out the glue. Don't have a wet one pulled out today. I do need to come back and just do a snip there, but I'll wait for it to dry. There's really no reason for that not to work. <laughs> That's okay. I'm leaving that. I'm not making that a pocket. But what I will do is trim the corners if I can. A lot of little things to think about, aren't there? And then I want to do this one as well. Okay. Cool. I like that. And that's pretty strong. But should I put... Well, that's very pretty. I like that. Okay. I've cut along there. I need to cut here. Trim about there. And then I'll trim. This off. Okay. just get so sticky so quickly and when it dries I will do my little punch okay it's all good all good I think there's probably not too much here to do other than add a few tabs which I can do afterwards okay good now let's have a look so they're both I think at a similar point now I've left the the extra pages just in case I want to do something with those um, and we need to have a little looky look at what I have made to get ready to start loading the bags. I um, probably don't have enough, but there are some things we can start to pull out and put in the bags. And we haven't looked at these bags for quite a long time. Me even longer than you guys. So let's just start dividing between the two. I'm going to put aside 
all of the the tags for the moment and I want to look at what special things do I have so I have these let's sort get one grab one of these first see which one gosh I got heaps of those made okay we'll look at those first I don't have much made actually um because we have our front pocket which is here there and then we have our back pocket so what I need to do here is punch it Oh, yes, that's a good idea. So this will probably slide into the... It'll disappear. No, I've got this little pocket here. Oh, that's not big enough. Anyway, it will slide in there, but it will slide down. So I'm thinking I might have... Actually, I like that one over there. And maybe this one. I don't even need to... Oh, I think I like that one more. This one I'm going to keep. These ones, I'll keep those two. They can go into my other box. And then one of these I'm going to put in my hoardy book to remember. And, and these will just go for Easter. Oh, the, well, I might clip them into... I didn't put one in the other journal, so I might put one in the other journal. So I put these aside because we don't need those. And I'll have a couple of things for next year. But they need to have something in them. So um, I put those in my box over here. And I have things flying around. I don't want such a big thing, I don't think. I want to make have something smaller. So I may have to go to the ephemera over here and I'm just going to pop it in, ready to go. So that needs to be made. And maybe I will make, that one's a bit big. Oh, I need to use that. That can go, I might use this as a um, long, what do you call them? So I've got to do that for that one. A long, <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't get my words out. Um, tab, that's it, got it. And I want something little. Normally I want something big, now I want something little. No, okay, where is all my ephemera? Here, I've got some things here, I think. In the mishmash of papers, I have things. That's super cute. I think I'll make that one up to go in there. Okay, so they've each got one of those. And that will just uh, disappear into this pocket. But once it starts filling, you just sort of pop things in and they, and they sit. Okay, then of the big things, we have these. So let's choose one each of these. One can go there, and then the other ones. I need to put one in my. Do I need to put one in the other journal? And then they also need to have something made to go in them. So, do I have anything made? Probably not, because I want something. I don't want these are the pockets. I don't need those. We've got those in the journals. Put those aside. You see, I really don't have a lot made, and I need to find. There's the bags. We need those afterwards. So I need to make something. I've got postcards. Now, where are the postcards? Do I have anything pulled out still? Not much. Now, I was making postcards. Not under my mat. Okay, I'll put them all back in my pouch. Oh, because I filled the other journal. That's why I don't have them. Okay. A lot need, still needs to happen. We're going to have... I need to double side print. I need to get onto that. I'll go and do that after I turn the video off. These things. They're all going to have those things. So I need to do that. Um, let's put that aside to double... Oh, here we go. I love this one. We'll make this one up again. I love all of these. All of these will be made up. Everything. So we'll have a session. We're just going to plan it now. But we're going to have a session afterwards. Not now. On another day. It's a long process and I want these to be made up so um, actually they can have two things so that one can go in there and that one oh it's a bunny thing oh they both got that one so that one can go in that one there and that one's going to have those two postcards so one postcard I think I'll put this postcard in here will I do that yeah 
and let me see this one. This postcard can go in that one, so that can be done. Okay, so we've got one of these, one of these in each one, and this and this, and that's an extra postcard. These all need to be double-sided printed. I need to make a few extra postcards, so... I think these two can go together. And those two can go together. So they'll go in each bag. I still need to pull out that one. That's an envelope. Probably don't need so many tags now. I've got heaps of quite a few tags. We'll see about that. Um, oh, that's a double sided page. I'll put that over there. Right there, that's a plain piece of paper. How did that get in there? Okay. Oh, I would like to make this up again. Where's my scissors? So I need to see if I've got another printout. Oh, oh, that one's over there. I want to make that for each one because they're really gorgeous. That one and that one. Each one can have some of these. I need to finish these, but that one needs to be decorated. Actually, I might... Oh, that one I'll use. I think I'll grab another one. Oh, here we go. Yeah, one and one. These ones I'm just going to actually put in my to-do box and do them non-Easter because we've nearly finished Easter, so they can go in, in, into not Easter. Um, That's the same as the other one I just cut up, so I'll put that over there. Um... I use any oh there's another in oh, that's the third one of that one we don't need how many do I have printed up silly me that's a good envelope I'll print all of these up I don't need this I've got that done I may do a couple of these let me just go oh I have, love these things too on that one that's another one of that one oh my goodness and that's an envelopey sort of thing they need to be printed on the other side and I need to add them also to the other journal. Okay, so I want this one. We want something big. I'm also going to make something. I've got a lot of making to do. I'm going to make all of these up. I think I've got one of those already, re already done. So, oh, well, I'll put that one over there. And I don't know about these. I might have these already done. So we'll just put those there. I'm getting into a big mess here now. Um, and I love all of those, so I'll put those aside. Uh, do we need, we could, I think I'll make all of these up. Actually, all of those I'm, I'm going to put in my to-do box because they're not really not just Easter. They can be any time. So I think I'll, I want to have those in my to-do box. I may, I may need them for this, I don't know. Uh, and then I wanted, I wanted these ones. This one I definitely want for this bag that doesn't have it. That one's got the, all those extra things. I just have to remember that. And here, I love that postcard so they can both have that one. We don't need that one. We don't need those. What do I have here? So cute. Oh no, that's my freebie. I haven't, I hopefully will have sent that out to you guys. Um, I want this one again. That one there and that one there. I need another one of the big ones. I may need to print it out again if I can't find it. I thought I pulled everything out. Now those are label -y things. I'm not sure if I need these or not. Did I pull everything out? Is that everything? Let me have a look. I may need to print that page up again because I did put it in the other journal. Yep, that's it for Easter. Okay, I need to print up again. Just that one page to get this big journal card. Um, unless I've got one already made up here. But I may make something. You know how I like to sort of use up these pages as well I may make some big journal cards out of those so now I've got my three bags I know this is all very messy but I've got my three 
bags here. I'll have the, the, the two, these two. They're the tallest. And that one will go in the other journal. I'll just put that over there. And I should have a tag that can go in these. I'm going to put that one in this one. Oh, I like those. That's going to go in there. And, oh, I don't have another one. Yes, I do. That one's going to go. Oh, and they go really well. I really like the, the choice. Put those in there. Now, here, let me see. Oh, isn't that cute? So we might have, oh, okay, we'll put that one there. This one there. Oh, here we go. I've got this one. Which one did I put it in? There it is. So that one can, that one's already done. Uh, I want this one. I can go here and I'll do another one for here. So I'm putting lots of things in. Um, and then we'll work out if I want to, what I want to do with these, I think. I do, I will add some tags. The tags will be added, but they're all tags. So I'll have to do that afterwards because otherwise it's going to become very confusing. So it is already confusing. But anyway, I've got this. So that can, oh, oh I didn't punch that one. Okay. So that one's going to pop in there. And what else did we have made? Oh, but we haven't made the thing, but I can I can't pop that in yet. So there's not much I can pop in. So that's that one. The only thing I can pop in is the bag. And I'm putting it in the back. Okay, that's good. Right, so I've got a few more things to make here for each one. I'm just going to slide them in the front here. Oh, I'll just slide them in the back actually. They're just going to slide in there and I'm going to just sit down probably a little bit with you guys and have a session making up the stuff and figuring out um, cool ways to put it together. And then I have a few extras here uh, to decide about. So that is my video for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye. I decided to come back and work on a few of these things. This is my mess um, because I kind of, I felt like I'd been on the video for a really long time, but actually I hadn't been on the video very long at all. So I'm going to finish off some of these things with you and, and then in the next video um, I'll show you the bags loaded and we will move on to the next thing. And I think I can use this piece. Oh, no, I like that. It's vertical that way. Um, oh, I've got my... I also um, printed up my envelopes, all different ones, um, double-sided for writing. So those will be going... Some of those will be going in as well. This one's trifold like that. Really cute. Um, and you can embellish further if you want to. I may just put them in like that. I'm not going to put all of them in, but here are some of the different envelopes that I have to include. I've already loaded one bag, but I won't show you until the next video because um, we've still got a bit of making to do. So I want to find something for the back of this one. I'll use that on something else. I've got some old book page here. Actually, I'll put those over with the, with the bag, with the journal. Okay. So I'm not actually um, putting things in the journal. Um, yeah, I'm not actually putting the things in the journal. I'm, I'm putting them in the bag. And so probably there won't be exactly enough um, for, for the journal. But uh, then that's, you know, space for whomever to, to make it themselves. So I'm just going to trim this here. Have my cutter handy, my blue book. Okay, we'll glue that on. Uh, what I started doing because I was ending up with so many pages glue pages I just decided to go on the inside with the glue stick and then just quickly around the outside so I don't get it all over my mat although I will get a bit on my mat um, and um, just run the glue around like that so 
Whoops. Actually, I also want to add a little bit of um, sort of old bits and pieces. I'll put those into the journals, um, but they won't have filled the pockets. Uh -huh, that's where it is. I put it away. And I might add, I think I might add some sort of tab on this one. I think maybe even a whale towel. Just a minute, let me grab my thing of whale towels. Okay, I do have some pre-punched out and some were sent to me. And this is, oh, this is one of the ones that we stamped quite a while ago. And I think that's going to be gorgeous on that. It's perfect colours. I'm going to slip this one under my mat. It's curling. So pretty. Okay, that's going to go under there. And hopefully I don't forget about it. Now let's see this one. Uh, what will I put this one on? Maybe a piece of, this is wonderful, old book page. I'm just going to get rid of that because that's getting in my way. No, it's covering it too much. seen what other book pages I have here. Um, I could use this. And then you could write, just pin that, pin it, glue it there, but then you sort of miss, I could keep, no, I don't want to do that either. Decisions, decisions. bit wider let's see yes I like it on that one so so yeah it took me quite a while yesterday after the video to make up the things that I had pulled out for the other loaded bag it really did take quite a while so um it's a bit of a process. We'll get a few things done, but not all. Oops. I'm going to keep a bit of the writing up there. And I'm going to trim off this not too curly bit. And just fold that over like so okay and I will take that bit off the top let me just get my ruler now just keep that bit Okay, so now we just need to find a nice paper there to go on the back.
trying to find one that's a little bit um, so pretty. Um, I don't have too many plain sort of papers there. I mean, I do, but I want to use those for something else. So I don't want to uh, finish those up. Let me see if I've got even a plain one. Oh, I do. Why don't I use a piece of this? Okay. Oh, it's late in the afternoon too, so that's why um, you're seeing such a yellow light because um, it's the next day since I did the first bit of the video, and um, I um, I have the light on. I want to put a tab on it and I did have some nice bits and pieces of paper flying around somewhere that I thought I could use for that sort of thing I think that would be really pretty so where's my cutter I can see there's a little border there have that make sure the embroidery is on the front the main part of the embroidery I might cut it a little bit narrower so I'm not covering quite so much that's better okay one's done we'll put that under there to flatten and let's see what we have we have this one and that's going to fit nicely on there so we'll put that on there I don't want quite that much. 
I am going to fold it over. Okay, so that's fairly simple, that one. I might um, punch, oh, and I want to do that one too. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, that's going to be cute. Let's just take this edge off. Okay. That's going to go on there. Really crooked. Okay, that's a little bit better. I think the right... Ah, the, look, the writing's printed crooked. That's why it looked like I was going crooked. Anyway, I prefer to line it up with the writing. And I'm thinking, do I want to fold it over like so? A bit less. And keep that bit. Yeah, I like that. And then you can add writing paper into it. I might just add a little bit there. I'm just eyeballing it. I think that looks way too long. We will see in a minute. Yep. Okay, it's not quite wide enough, but I think that's okay. piece of paper flopped on there and I thought oh I thought it was a jumping animal but it's just a piece of paper okay and that's going to tuck into something oh here's the other one that one I wanted to punch a hole in didn't I Okay, I'll put that one under there till it dries. Next. Now I have 
have somewhere. I have any more? Yes. Do I want to glue that there? No, I think I'll glue it like that. Cover up that amount of writing. Yes. Or like that. And then that can fold over. That's the back though. That's the front. Okay. Okay. Now that is going to fold in. Where's halfway? Let's just flatten it out a little bit. That's going to fold like that, and then this will go in. Okay. So plenty of writing space. And we're going to add a little fussy cut, I think. Just looking for something. Oh, here we go. I think I'm going to have one of those too. So on the other one, I put that flower. So maybe on this one, I'll put this flower. I don't know where my little scissors are. Maybe just going over that. Okay, and that's pretty simple. And then you pull this out and you've got some good writing space. Put that flat to dry. Okay, this one. No, not on there. Okay, I really like it on there. I'm going to glue it on there. Yes. I'll just take that bit off.
Okay. Okay, and then this bit I wanted to fold over. Oh, yes, I really like that. That bit's a bit wide. Maybe I'll fold that over the other way a little bit. Now, I don't want to cover this up, so what I'm going to do is just grab a piece of paper that I'm going to I'll grab a piece of this paper actually. Oh, it's a perfect height. I'm going to fold it over. And I'm going to use the Haranax, this one, the Haranax. Um, stapler without the staples and just attach that. I probably should wait for it to dry. It's not permanent so you can actually change your paper out or you could take it off and then glue some paper down. But it's a nice solution when you don't want to um, cover up the nice paper underneath. And I think, do I want anything else? Yeah, I think I'm going to have a little faux stamp. That was a snappy decision for me. Okay, so what have we done? Let's just double check. We finished up this one just with the whale towel up there. Just made that one. And I didn't attach the paper down so that you can see the lovely old book. I think it's just a great alternative to gluing down paper. This one we've put onto a, an old piece of ephemera. Vintage, nothing fancy. Didn't want to break it, take any bits off. And that's just going to be like that. Um, here I'm going to put some string it's a bit wet so I just have to be careful not to tug at it okay I won't tug anymore that's that one I'll trim that string off a little bit this one I just put a bit of paper there and I've left it like that then um, you can add whatever you like to it I think that's really cute and then this we just added a tab and some writing paper on the back and glued it to a nice piece of paper so that's all I've got done for now but I will finish off the other ones and then as I mentioned in the next video we will go through the loaded bags and the other journal and then this project will be done and we will I think we'll do a quick quickish not quick quick 
um, document style journal as well. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.